Hello, my friends. It's Vicki Booten here at scrapbook.com for American Crafts. And things that excite me are new tools and new mixed media products. So guess what? I'm super excited right now because I have a new mixed media product and two new tools that are in this new release. And I get to show you how to use them and why I love them so much. Everyone needs a palette knife. So, and everyone needs a turquoise palette knife because it's my favorite color. And this is the new uh, palette knife that came out in Color Kaleidoscope release. And I love it. It is nice and sturdy. We did a lot of different practice and testing with this to get it just right. So you have a new palette knife and look at this. It's the new art wedge. And I love this. Look at the makeup of this. It has the little thumb hold and it is nice and pliable material and you're looking at it going yeah it's awfully pretty but what am I going to do with it this works really well for pulling mediums pulling acrylic paint um, you have the three different patterned designs that you can uh, make patterns through any of your heavier body uh, products and then I love that there's three different sizes on the sides for depending on how big the surface area you want to work with is so I want to show you these and as well, something glittery and full of like a lot of unicorn, I say unicorn tears in the iridescent glaze, but I don't even know. This is like unicorn confetti, <laughs> we'll call it that. So it is the new texture paste iridescent glitter. And let's take a look inside. It is so pretty. Look at that. So this is well loved. I've used half of it on my samples, um, but I am totally in love with this. It will dry clear, but then it has glitter and little uh, foily pieces in it that are iridescent because that is a big theme through Color Kaleidoscope is kind of the iridescent. I don't know. I think that I was channeling like growing up in the 80s. So I was pulling out like I, I feel like um, we need puffy stickers and scratch and sniff stickers to put in our scrapbook because that's kind of where this whole iridescent rainbow uh, glaze came from. I'm going to show you a few things. I want you to see. This is something we're going to show. But look at here. This is the glaze just on a white background. So it's not a matte finish. It does have some shine to it. But look at how pretty that is. You have it here on top of acrylic paint. So I just put a layer of it on top of acrylic paint. This is mixed in to um, the uh, new uh, watercolor markers. So I put a little bit of watercolor marker, some water in the glaze, and look at this pretty glaze that I made. And I tint it with any color that you want. That's why we came in and made it where there's no pigment in, it's just the glitter. This one, while it was wet, I sprinkled with gold embossing powder, let it dry, and then heat embossed the powder. And look at that fun technique. And then look at it on the black. Look how pretty this is. So even, you know, if you're one of those ones that you're like, oh, it looks a little messy for me. How would I use that? Cut punch butterflies out of it with your butterfly punch or circle punches or even a border punch. How beautiful would that be? So then it's contained mess. So if you are one of those ones that doesn't like a lot of messy, then you can just contain it in a shape. So let me show you how to use this. Let's put it to use. So I have a stencil here with this because there are larger chunks in it. It won't work in a really fine detail. Well, try it, but you won't get some of the big chunks out of it. But um, in the circle one, it works beautifully. So I'm gonna show you with palette knife traditionally, right? You would open your medium and then you can take your palette knife, load the back and then pull it through, oops, pull it through your stencil. Just hold it in place. So let me just put it on thick and just give you, right, your stencil. But then you have your um, art wedge and look how easy to lift and reapply. I love this thing. And because it's brand new, there's going to be lots of different things that we can figure out um, or different ways that we can use this. So then you just lift that stencil off because I'm killing a couple birds with one stone. Look at that background. So I have one here that's dry already. I don't heat set this, I'd let it dry and then come back to it. And then we're going to just grab one of the um, stencil brushes and an art crayon, which I have here. And I'm gonna just um, color it right on to my craft mat. Let's go in the light blue, I think will be a nice color that will be easier for you guys to see the contrast. 
So I'm just gonna put it here on my craft mat. I'm gonna load the stencil brush in a circular motion. And then we can just go in here and lay the color down. You're gonna take a baby wipe and you're just going to kind of buff that off. Look at the magic that's happening right there. So that totally will resist your art crayon. I love that. It's like a built-in property I didn't even know that existed until I practiced and played. And that's how we learn all of these fun techniques and it's how it makes mixed media and art made easy. So I hope you give that a try. And there's three different things that you can try out and see if they fit into your creative toolbox. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.